Alright guys, welcome to a brand new video and what we're going to be talking about today is we've got a new series and this is what's going to be called 5 things you need to know about World War 2 and we're going to be doing this up until the release of World War 2 anything that I feel like is kind of hidden from you guys that you won't know about especially in the early days of the gameplays that are getting leaked etc I feel like you should need to know some of these items so let's get into it, we've got 5 things here, they're all unique in their own way and we're going to describe how they're going to affect the game that you might have not even known have been introduced so first of all, for the first time in a good while, the minimap is actually circular and not rectangular or squarish. It is actually circular for once. I know it doesn't make that much of a difference, but it does look a lot different when you're actually playing. So yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. The next one we've got is this is one that's been quite a bit of a talking point actually. Is it's quite cool. For suppressor, since you can actually take them off in real life, they're allowing you to do that in the game now. Whenever you want, you can attach and remove the suppressor that's on the end of your gun as I'm playing right now. So if you want to be loud in a game, you can quickly put it on, if you want to let them know you're there, you can take it off, etc, etc. Whatever situation you're in, you can adapt to it by just taking it off and putting it back on, which is pretty, really cool. So what's been brought into World War 2 is also what's in Modern Warfare Remastered, where you can inspect your own gun. And as you can also see, like in Infinite Warfare, you can move when the countdown's going, and you can do that in World War 2, as you can see in the gameplay right here. So you can inspect your gun, which is also pretty cool which um, a lot of people do use in Modern Warfare Remastered. Now this one is a lot different and this is going to you know, kind of maybe kill off the trick shotting community but what's happened here is for the final kill cam, they don't actually do a kill for the final kill cam now, what they do is they do the best play so if there was a nice treble kill or a nice quad they will include that instead of a kill. It's a bit different but I kind of like it, let's say you got a 10 man feed on hardcore domination or something, that's going to be crazy when you actually see good players getting to play the game and you would see some insane plays I would imagine but it's quite of an annoyance for them trick shotters who work hard to get them final kill cams so last but not least we have got the headquarters game mode which features 48 players that has a firing range just like your one in Modern Warfare Remastered Advanced Warfare that you can actually compete against other players in which is very very cool as you're seeing in the gameplay right now so yeah guys nothing much for this video like I said 5 um, things from World War 2 that you possibly didn't know about and what you need to know about. So if we can smash, let's go for 150 likes. I'll do another one and you never know, I might end up doing a good 5 to 10, 20 of these before World War 2 actually drop. I'll keep on doing them every time there's something secretive that I feel like you just don't know about, I will inform you on it. So let me know if you want to see anything else in regards to Call of Duty World War 2. But thanks for watching guys and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Yeah. Baby, girl, you're so damn fine, though Wanna know if I can hit it from behind, though I'm sipping on you like some fine wine, though When it's over, I press rewind, though Talking bands, I got it Benjamins in my pocket I traded my truth for some vibe